Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Super Man of YouTube, and I would like to welcome you to that playoff atmosphere type of game. We're going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder in Oklahoma. How bad can it get? We are already 0-3 against these guys this season. This is something like a playoff game. If they win this game, they will sweep us for the series of the regular season. I don't know how we'll feel after that. Now, you can already tell that their record was better than ours currently. But, you know, hopefully we could change that. But it's time for me to turn up. We need to come on and get this win. I feel like LeBron in game two, man. I feel like if we don't win this game, it's going to look real ugly for us when the real playoffs come around. But let's get into it, y'all. Now, after scoring the lucky three, I saw that KD and them couldn't come back down and answer. So I decided to take a little advantage of their post. Now, it's so crazy that my post game is that vicious that they got to double team me. And it ain't even been one minute in the first quarter yet. But I did hit Drummond in the paint for a nice two-hand pull up. Yes, I said Drummond. You guys have to realize, man, we got new players. We got Brandon Knight. We got Andre Drummond. And Eric Gordon has been shipped off. <laughs> but... I want to tell you guys about a nice little slow start that always happens in this league. Certain teams get out the slow starts and other teams get out the smart starts. But I will tell you this. Both teams, they got out the very, very slow starts. <laughs> we couldn't hit anything. But it was this one play that turned everything around. And no, this is not the play. Not a little mid-range jump shot from Russell Westbrook. I'm talking about this play right here. I'm talking about a spin move alley-oop pass from Westbrook. I didn't know where that pass came from. When it happened, I said, oh my goodness, he got wild with him. So, you know I had to come back down and answer back. It's only right that the stat she stuffer does. So, I decided to take KD to the rack, dunk on him like Dr. J dunks on people back in the day. But check out this move. Yeah, yeah, I had to run that replay. I had to bring the cameraman out. Yeah, that's right. I paid him 50 grand for that shot. Yeah, KD just got in the poster. He going to be on my new card next season. <laughs> now, nah, but back to the game. It's now 24 to 19. I was thinking, you know what? We got a nice little comfortable lead. And I see that Kevin Durant is now on the bench. So I'm going to take advantage of my little man Fisher. That's right. I shined his bald head as I shot that fade away. <laughs> and you know I had to nail it. But when there's always good, there's always bad as well. I was thinking to myself, why would this guy go in for a layup like that? I said, you know what? He's just ignorant for that. He don't know what he was thinking. He don't know what he was doing. But Michael Petras received a nice little bounce pass from Lamb. And I said, you know what? Somebody about to get this payback. I said, no, we, I'm not going to let that go in vain. Mm -mm, no. So, you know what I decided to do? I decided to call a little play for me. Told everybody to get out the way. Feeling like MJ. And I said, I'm going to take somebody to the rack. So I put Petrus on a nice little ISO. D. Fisher didn't know what was happening. Hit a spin move and just dunked all over Jeremy Lamb. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> he said, did you see that? That's hammer time. But let's get into the second quarter, y'all. See the show and make yourself heard. Come out and support your hometown Hornets. The Machine, a terrific starring attraction. Not to be missed, so get your tickets now. Come out and represent your town. Now, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to say that the second quarter was the Hornets quarter, and this is why. That lockdown defender signature skill, it just happened to activate immediately when I stuck KD. Because I got the cookies. You know I had to run on the break real quick. You know that D. Fisher about to get humiliated. So I decided to do a nice little spin layup on him and get the foul. I wanted to do a spin dunk, but hey, I'll take whatever animation I can get. But another signature skill that was big was that floor general, man. I don't know what it was, but I was hitting guys in the paint. They was getting open. And one thing I will say, some of them didn't even need me. They said, nah, Carter, stay on, stay in your position. We got this. So Austin Rivers decided to make it rain in the gym, and I ain't had no problem with it at all. I said, go on ahead, brother. You can do your thing. But that last signature skill that always helps is that defensive anchor. Boy, oh boy, when my team steps up on defense, it makes me happy no matter what. Whether it be a steal, whether it be a block, whether it just be great defense, whether it be them just stopping a guy in his tracks. But like I said, that floor general does numbers, right? 
But the second quarter is over. We're about to go into halftime. Look, KD got his head down already. Yeah, I was in that Gatorade commercial. Not Wade. Yeah, I got that lockdown defender rolling. But let's get into halftime, y'all. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Hello, everyone. I'm Damon Bruce, and the Halftime Report is coming your way. The New Orleans Hornets have the lead against Oklahoma City. Their hot streak continues, looking good so far. The machine has had himself an amazing start. Consistent shooting from the field, making well over 65% of his shots. Not a lot of guys put up a half a basketball like that. And for the Thunder, it's been all hustle. They've been very focused on the defensive end, generating steals, showing a high-level activity and aggression defensively. Some textbook basketball from Kevin Durant. He has 11 points, and on the defensive side of the floor, he's definitely been contributing with some focused defensive work. And that'll be all for now. Thanks so much for joining us. The third quarter, just about to get underway. Okay, okay, okay. I will admit, the third quarter, it went to them. I will say that this dude named Kevin Durant, he is something else. He is, he ain't human. That's all I'm going to say. On NBA 2K13, this dude ain't to be messed with. In the third quarter, he showed up and showed out. He made us look like little schoolboys out there. He made us look like we played for Inner Murls. Remember Inner Murls? We this ain't even JV. He said he said, "Yo, y'all playing the Murls. It's all good." And check it out, I'm getting over the back fouls. I'm getting frustrated with every play that happens. And look at this play right here. I decided to kick it out to the boy at three, and he can't even catch the ball. He got butterfingers. So you know Kevin Durant had to capitalize on that play. He said, oh, hey, Carter, you giving it up like that? i take it. Oh, man, it was a quarter for the ages. This is what happens in the playoffs, man. If your team can't show up, if your team can't work together, bad things happen real quick. But... Like I said, we can always turn up at any given second. So me and Austin Rivers link up real fast. Get the crowd hype a little bit. You know, they wanted to see a little bit of craziness going on. But all in all, it was a bad quarter. Let's get into the fourth. Make sure to pick up the newest copy of NBA 2K14 in store soon. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Who's had the Sprite uncontainable game in this one? Well, let's go to Doris Burke. Thanks, Kevin. And it's the Hornets with the uncontainable game award for the offensive stretch they put together. They put on a show at the defensive end. Most of their heroics coming in that second period. It's easy to build a lead like this one when you play great defense. All right, Doris, thanks. And the run Doris mentioned, guys, that was really a huge game changer here. Now, in the fourth quarter... It was showtime. I drank my little bit of Gatorade real quick. I said a few words like turn up, turn up, turn up, and I turned up. So you already know what I had to do right here, man. I had to show up and show out. So I spin off the double team and go baseline on them. You know how I do. You know how I get crazy on them. So you know I had to fully extend due to Dougie. <laughs> Looking like a crazy man. He had going to the rim. But like I said, man, it's the fourth quarter. I got to show up. I got to score buckets because now we're on the seesaw. Now they're in the lead. It's not like the second quarter. It's not even like the third quarter. Right now we are fighting for our lives. We are fighting not to get swept in this series. So you know what I do. I rise on them. I call for the pass like I'm LeBron or Blake Griffin or something. I'm crazy out there. But like I said, man. It's always hard when you playing against OKC because check this play out right here. I go ahead and get my fifth foul. Russell Westbrook then did some nonsense where he grabbed the rebound over two big men. I was so distraught. I didn't know what to do. But one thing I had on my mind was score, score, score. So you already know what I did. Cut back door on him and get wild. Yeah, that's right. I cut back door on him. You know, I hit him with the Harry Houdini like my boy regular Dave say. <laughs> But as we turn up, it's never a turn down button. So I decided to get involved in the offense once again. The double team comes. They don't know what to do. They got their hands up like they, ho, hey, ho. <laughs> I don't know what they doing out there. But that was a nice little finger roll layup. But this was one of the plays that just defined the whole night. I put Westbrook on skizates. <laughs> yeah. 
That's right. Westbrook has bit the dust. And that between the leg dunk, oh my goodness. Man, I had the shivers after I did that dunk. But you already know I had to hit him with the replay. Paid the cameraman 75 grand and put that on ice. Just in case Westbrook ever say something crazy, I got the lost footage for him. In about 2025, that's going to be worth about 2.5 mil. Easy. <laughs> hey, man, you know I got to joke around, man. That's what I do. Now, it's a minute and 40 seconds left. I'm like, oh, we got this game in a bag. But no, 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 no. As long as OKC is out there, you ain't never got the game in the bag. So they hit a nice little bounce pass to Martin. And Martin passes it off to Durant. And I just had to stand there. I couldn't allow to get my sixth foul because the game is on the line. Now, I'm thinking, hey, I'm going to start the team, right? If I got the ball in my hands, we going to win regardless. So I decided to take it to the rack. But check this play out. Kevin Martin bumped me right off track, no call by the ref, and I had to suck it up like a grown man. But this play, I just couldn't suck it up. Russell Westbrook beasted his way to the paint, and I was scared. I, I don't know why, but man, I hit a quick timeout. I finally got the ball off to Brandon Knight. He hit two daggers, right? And I was like, yes, we got this. And I said, oh no, don't let Westbrook shoot. And then I realized... He shot an air ball. I said, oh, my God. We got this game, man. But it was a great match. I will tell you that. We did not get swept in this series for the whole season. And, man, all I can say is I can't wait to see these guys in the playoffs. If they get knocked off in the playoffs before they come see us, I'm, I'm, I'm calling the whole controversy, yo, because Oklahoma is a bad behind team. But this is IKC signing out, and I'm going to holler at you on the next one. Since I was a youngin', I've been on the scene. Jump shot me, they call me the machine. I'm cranking out jumpers whenever I want it. Uh, shake the game, baby. You can call me thunder. I'm a beast though. Just let me feast though. Feel like I'm ballin' by myself. This is a free throw. I'm lethal. I steal your possession like it was mine. Depot, you throwing up bricks anyway. Home Depot, I do it my way. Carlito on South Beach, chillin' so hard I'm putting out the heat though. I got no equal, and hey, I'm a hunter, but I pray like Tebow. I'm on fire and they ice cold Eskimos. I cook a hater like potatoes, never let them stress me out. Fumble through the playbook while the trainer stretch me out. Grab the rock and then we out. Boy, you hook, I grab the rebound. Put it back, big dog, they be like me out. High velocity, LeBron ain't stopping me. KD can't see me while he watching me. Obstacles, optically, bring New Orleans back. That's a fact, it ain't no probably. I'm sick with it. You can go and let the doctor see the best up in my class. When I was at Nova, they used to say I'm in my bag. Look at me now, boy, that's exactly where I'm at 87 on my back, take it way past the max TJ, replay, I took it to the rack Ain't nobody hot as me, ain't nobody stopping me Double team, triple team, they need they whole squad for me Ain't nobody hot as me, ain't nobody stopping me Double team, triple team, they need they whole squad for me Your name kept coming up as your teammates talked about the key elements in the win tonight How does it feel to hear that they had such positive things to say about your play? Man, it, it really means a lot. I couldn't do the things I do without them. The game of basketball is so deeply rooted in teamwork and learning how to play as a unit that it often doesn't even make sense to call out an individual. So I appreciate the props, but this is really about this team stepping up and getting the job done as a group. Each one of us knows our role and goes out there and gets the job done. And it's a great feeling knowing that you're on a team like that, man. Yerp, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.